What's up, dude? Fuck. Hanson vs. Predator, one of the best shows of all time. By far my favorite anime. So lately, I've been watching a lot of those old To Catch a Predator episodes on YouTube. I don't really know why, I just think it's so satisfying to see an old fart get his life ruined on national television in front of God and everybody. It's just so, there's just something about it, man. So the main series was in the 90s, right? Well, they started it back up. Chris Hansen is back. This time, with silver hair, a beer gut, and the same predator-busting skills. I, oh, it's so good, man. I want to watch this. This first one's about the math tutor. Yeah, did you blaze? This 32-year-old guy wants to spend a Sunday afternoon chilling with a 13-year-old girl after texting her about getting stoned. But Mike Manzi's date is about to go up in smoke. What's so great about To Catch a Predator is like just all the editing that goes into it. Like I, you know, I make videos. I know how tough it is to edit. So when they like slow down the guy walking to the door and then he like opens it and they're like, oh, who's this creepy? F like it's just, ah, they, they play it up so well that it, it's just so like dramatic. It's just so good. It's so good, you know, God. You'll be shocked when you hear what Manzi does for a living. He's a math tutor. You heard it right. He teaches some of New York and Connecticut's wealthiest children how to solve complicated equations. But you might say Manji flunked basic arithmetic because 32 plus 13 adds up to trouble. 32 plus 13. Ugh. I, yeah, all right, I'll take it. I'll, yeah, okay. Online, he calls himself Mike Thrilla. He's a self employed tutor with a. Whoa, whoa. What was that? Mike Thrilla. Mike Thrilla. Mike Thrilla. That tells you all you need to know about this guy. Mike Thrilla. Thrill, Thrilla. Mike Thrilla. He's a self-employed tutor with a bachelor's degree in mathematics from a small New York college. Egg. He's obsessed with pizza, and he says he smokes marijuana often. Like, why? <laughs> with this guy, they've really pegged him as like the stoner sort of math tutor guy and he completely gives that off to when he gets in. He just seems like, like a f like a soy boy or something, like a virgin. He's a virgin, guys. Chris Hansen is a Chad, but th this math tutor is a straight up virgin, 100%. These are some of the texts the 32-year-old man who calls himself Mike Thrilla sent to our decoy, who he thought was 13. Did you blaze? Did you blaze? Did you blaze? Did you blaze, baby? Yeah, you know me, Mr. Mr. Pot Smoking Man. Yeah, did you blaze? <laughs> Am I right? Oh yeah, man. Did you blaze? I just love weed. Can't you tell? Can't you tell, little girl that I'm trying to get with? Can't I just? Uh, wow, I love marijuana. Did you blaze? Did you blaze? You're my soulmate. Wow, you are so cute. You look way older, by the way. But he also admits he shouldn't be talking to a 13-year-old. Well, you are cool and cute too. I just know I could get in trouble even talking to you, you know? But Manzi continues texting, and on a crisp autumn day, Manzi arrives at the Sting House. Hello? Hi. Good. How are you? Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Look at look at this editing, man. Look, kitchen cam. The camera that's in the kitchen. Ooh, guys, watch out for the kitchen cam. I just wanted you to know, you watching this right now, this is the office cam right here. You see that the recording thing up here? Yeah, that means we're recording right now, guys. This is a camera shot. This is a video happening in a certain room. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Good. Why don't you have a seat right on that stool, please? Sure. No, right here, sir. No, no I, I know. Please, right there. That's right. Sit, please. Okay. I need to talk to you. Just look at the body language here between these guys, okay? Like, Chris Hansen comes in with his beer gut out and he's like, why don't you just, uh, why don't you sit right there, buddy? Why don't you just, uh, just take a, there, there's a position seat right there for you, bud. You already know what's going on, just take a seat. Oh, the virgin, oh, the virgin, he just, he takes it anyways. He's gotta sit down, he knows. He knows he's not getting out of here already. What are you doing here today? Well, I'm, I'm here because I was slightly concerned. Concerned about what? Well, concerned because she's talking to people that are a lot younger, a lot older on the website. Now, why were you so concerned about 
a 13 year old girl. Wow. Well, See, what's great also about this show is how they just like straight up make up stories. I've watched tons of these videos already and most of the guys, they automatically say like, oh, I was coming over to help her or I was here to warn her about like natty, nasty guys on the internet. And it's like, buddy, you're one of those nasty guys on the internet. Look at Chris. God, I love this man. He's just got it all hanging out. He doesn't care. God bless him. He knows he's getting paid. He's getting paid anyways. They don't care what he looks like. Well, she's talking to other people that are obviously the same age as me. And how old are you? I'm 32. You're 32? Yes. So you came over to make sure she was okay? Well, I came over just to make sure that... Everything was fine? Everything was okay. I was not... So you were going to search the house just now to make sure... What? Well, Bad guys I don't... Here? Well, I mean, I don't know. Yes, everything's okay, Mike. Don't worry. Thank you for being such such a caring citizen. Thank you, Mr. Thrilla, for being a godsend to this community. Thank you. I know you had no bad intentions. We were just going to film this and put it on YouTube for everyone to see. How many people have seen this? Only 10 million. Only 10 million people. Mike, that's nothing. Well, you're cool and cute, too. I just know I could get in trouble even talking to you, you know. Well, yes, of course, but you know... Look, may I please leave? Not I'm not... Yet. Okay. Not just yet. I have some more questions for you. God, this this whole episode is like Virgin versus Chad. The Virgin wants to leave, and the Chad's like, no, no, uh, you're gonna you're gonna stay right there, buddy. I'm not done with you yet. Now let's uh, let's go over these. So you like marijuana, huh? You you like little girls too? Wow, that's uh that's not that's not good, buddy. That's not a good choice. No, no, you sit right there. You sit right there. But no, 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 no. Will I be able to leave after your question? Did you blaze? Wait. Yes. Sir? Yes. Wait. Are you answering me or are you reading stuff? Yes, you can leave after I ask you a couple questions. Are you sure? Are sure. there police outside or anything? I'll get to that. Please, sir, can you please just tell me? Because I really Look at can't. This. Oh, Look at the quick. guy. God, I love seeing him squirm. He's like, oh, please, please, Mr. Hanson, please let me leave. Oh, gosh, you know me. I don't even have any hair. Please, God, just let me go. Oh, please, I can't take this. Oh, I need my weed to keep me level. So what it looks like, Mike, is that you came here mm -hmm. to smoke weed with a 13-year-old girl, and then whatever was going to happen was going to happen. Yeah, but that's not entirely what... You said yeah. Whatever was going to happen was going to happen. Yeah. There's no yeah, but that's what you were going to do. Now, you tutor kids... Sir, may I ask you a question? Yes, you may. First off, that is not completely true. I, I have a couple more questions for you. Though. I really don't want to answer any more questions, and I feel- Do you have marijuana with you? No, I do not. Is it in your car? No, it is not. It's amazing this whole turn of like, the guy's like, can I please go home? Mommy, can I please leave? Can I please leave, Mr. Chad? I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Sincerely, the virgin. You see how this Look, looks? I know how it looks. I'm very sorry. May I please leave? Math tutor Mike Manzi's number is up. He thought he was going to spend the day smoking pot with a 13-year-old girl. How many of those sound effects do you think they can fit in? Math tutor Mike Manzi's number. Maybe, maybe we should use more sound effects. Like, let's use one of these, like a combo combo, and then a fucking and then maybe we'll do the we'll do the camera thing for the rest of this video. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to edit that much. <laughs> Instead, he's spending it with me and the police. There's something you is, need to know. Is there cops? I'm There's gonna... something you need to know. Please. On Chris Hansen. That's the one. That's the one where you, that's what you can tell Chris loves to say that. He loves to say his own name because it has such weight now. He can't say with Dateline NBC anymore though. He's not with NBC. So he just has to be like, I'm Chris Hansen and you're fucking dead. I'm Chris Hansen, and you haven't been paying your taxes. I'm Chris Hansen, and this check isn't good. You've been bouncing checks, young man. Oh wait, Chris, what did you do? We'll get to that in a minute, though. We'll get in the. No, no, no. Please let me go home, guys. Oh, no. Sir, guys, it'd be best if you oh, went please. out this door. No, because I'm gonna get arrested. I know it's gonna happen, sir. Please, guys, please. Please, Mr. Chad and your little Chadlings, please let me go. I am so sorry. Please, oh my gosh, please. I really can't afford to do this. I can't. I'm really not here for any malintent. I really can't. Please do not. But look at the chat. I really just wanna... <sighs> please let me go home, guys. I'm gonna get arrested going that way. Yeah, Please, that way. no, I can't. And they, they, they're like pointing like that, like it's like, go to your room. Go outside to the cops, go get arrested. Go to your room. God, this is so like, God, so good. 
can't. I can't. I won't. Please. You can't go this way. Please, man. No, you can't go this way. Guys. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. This sucks. This thing that I came here to do that was clearly illegal. Th oh, this sucks. There's only one way out through the garage where the Fairfield, Connecticut cops are waiting with a pair of handcuffs with his name on them. Manzi argues with the cops, and while he's not resisting arrest, he sure isn't being overly cooperative. And with that, another predator is taken off the streets by our Lord and Savior, Chris Hansen. But wait, do you remember what I said about those checks earlier? Guys, look at this. I saw it on Twitter. To catch a predator host, Chris Hansen arrested over bouncing checks. What? Chris! How could you? You were the chosen one, Chris. You were supposed to save the force, not be consumed by darkness. Chris! Why? Look at him, he looks so sad. This isn't right. This isn't right, guys. We need to fix this. You know why Chris Hansen was bouncing checks? Obviously because he doesn't have enough money. And you know what that means? To catch a predator needs to start up again. Dateline NBC, True Crime Watch Daily, whatever your name is, make more to catch a predator. My boy Chris needs a paycheck. And we need to catch more predators. There's always more. This man has done a, a freaking community service for the rest of us. Please, God, give him a job. Chris deserves better than this. He should not be bouncing checks like it's 1997, okay? My boy Chris deserves that direct deposit, that sweet cheddar cheese, that moolah, that green for taking freaking predators off the street. Help my man Chris, okay? Thank you. All right, I guess that's it for now. I, I hope he's out on bail. I'm kind of worried about him. I haven't looked into it any more than now, so I have no freaking idea. Guys, I have a very important update. Chris is out. He's a free man. Oh, whoo, oh. I'm gonna check after this actually, I'm kind of worried. But I'll see you next time, all right? Just, uh, just take a seat right there, you know?